So the process of the magazine, um, you know, every issue, we get in a room and we, um, for days, just sit and think about what theme we're wanting to tackle. And for fall, we really felt like wholeness just felt right. What I love about this theme of wholeness is it's really taking every part of your story, whether it be sad, happy, uh, the joy, the pain, the beautiful memories, the harder ones, all of it, and taking all of these imperfections, taking all of the cracks and the pieces and pulling them together and really owning that as your full story. The visual team, what they have an amazing gift of doing is taking these concepts, these stories, and these themes and bringing them to life. The visual team really likes to take the cover um, of every issue and concept that out in the shop. And so one of the things that they loved about this cover was just this library setting. We actually shot this cover in New York City at the Nomad Hotel super early in the morning. We had about 30 minutes to get in there get the shot and get out. This idea of wholeness, we kept seeing you know, books and stories leaning into your full story and we just thought a library setting would really help take this idea of wholeness to another level. We shut the shop down at 6, at 6.30 p.m. The team rolled in and just started taking everything down. And I just feel like every install just keeps getting more and more efficient. Even though right now you walk in and it feels like everything's kind of everywhere, it's honestly, we're at such a good place because the biggest parts of these displays are set and now we just have to merchandise around them. You gotta rub his belly. Be sweet. Crew, gentle. <laughs> so Chip surprised us this week and brought home this sweet little puppy. Um, I thought we were maxed out with dogs, but we're not. We now have six dogs. And we like to say this is Crew's puppy. Crew, where's your puppy? Where's your puppy? Where is he? Say bye, puppy. We got to go, crew, okay? Bye -bye. Tell the puppy bye-bye. Bye -bye. Say bye-bye. Bye -bye. You want to go to the silos? But Let's go. It. Come on. <laughs> My mind is still in summer mode, um, but this is always the thing that helps me shift gears. It's just like a beautiful um, kind of awakening to a new season. Okay. Let's go, babies. Oh, look at those leaves. Those are so pretty. Those colors. Look at this crew, look. I'm gonna touch that. You love the details. Chip and I were actually talking this morning how funny it is that um, when Drake was one and he was walking, everything shifted for me as a shop owner because when he was crawling, it was cute and sweet, but then all of a sudden he starts walking and he can start grabbing stuff and pulling things down. A year ago, he was in my arms, um, sleeping most of the time, where now he's walking, and I definitely have to keep my eyes on him. It's a different ball game with a one-year-old who walks in the shop, but it's sweet, because it just reminds me of Drake, little shop babies, uh, dirty knees, dirty feet. Um, it just reminds me of, of the good old days. Okay, Rebecca, I'm gonna go walk next door real quick and check out the coffee shop. Okay. I'll be right back. The coffee shop, we're about halfway finished. 
I can't wait for this whole place to really come to life. You know, Ella keeps asking me if she can get a job there um, because she's always wanted to work at a coffee shop. So the kids are excited about it. Chip and I are excited. Um, and it's fun to finally see some real progress happening there. So the feeling in the coffee shop, I really wanted it to just feel um, really cozy, kind of a blend of that library feeling, but also a little bit of industrial. This was, uh, you know, originally kind of an industrial vibe. So we wanted to uh, keep that in some of the elements that you'll see like on the ceiling and in some of the light fixtures, but there'll be a lot of brass accents, copper accents. The exterior green that you see on the outside, we're gonna pull in on the interior. So there's gonna be that really beautiful, rich green on the walls. And then to kind of balance out that richness and color, we have gray plastered walls and then this kind of rough gray concrete um, and then really pretty walnut, um, just cabinetry throughout. We're hoping to be complete October, November. It's the goal, October is the goal. And then so everything from here over is coffee shop, um, the kind of the seating area. And then in here, you're gonna be the first people that get to look in there. That's gonna be something really fun. I'm gonna give you a hint. Furniture. Okay. I'm gonna head back to the shop where there's some AC and cold drinks. When I meet with the visual team, we put a lot of emphasis on what happens right here in the store because it's the first thing you see when you walk in. And to me, this is really telling the whole story that we are really diving into for the fall. Um, being that wholeness is the theme, we really wanted to use something pretty ordinary like concrete and make it extraordinary by adding some elements of gold that you'll see in the lettering but also in the cracks. And playing off of this whole idea, you'll see this concrete throughout the other displays. You'll see it in the leaves, you'll see it in other elements of the displays in the store. But this is also something we wrote about in the magazine is uh, the idea of kintsugi, which is a Japanese art form of taking broken ceramics and mending it back together with gold. So it's really finding the beauty in the brokenness. And so we do a whole display over on the back side of the store, but this is something that we thought, we just love that concept of taking the broken pieces, mending them back together with gold. Um, and so again, the whole idea of wholeness, leaning into your full story, this is what sets the stage for everything else.